No one of the myths that these people have loads of money and therefore they, they're not deserving asylum seekers. Well, let's go through that. In our research, we found that in, particularly in a country like Afghanistan, when people flee, um, they flee because they've got to get away and the family's full of money, so they sell houses and they get out. The other myth you hear is, oh, they're all queue jumpers. Well, I've been to Afghanistan a number of times. I'm yet to find the queue. There is no queue in Afghanistan. The Australian government doesn't even do any processing in Afghanistan because it's not safe for them to do it. They do it in Dubai. And it's been, has, it's been unsafe for our people to go from Dubai into Kabul to do the processing there. So where is the queue? The UNHCR will not point you to a queue. It doesn't exist. There is not a queue in Sri Lanka because the government say, who are now in total control, there was no need for you to go. Um, you'll also hear the myth, all these people haven't got papers. Well, if you're fleeing from the Taliban, uh, you don't tend to go down to them when they are in control of the government, knock on the door and say, excuse me, could I have a passport so I can leave the country to go to somewhere else and tell them what an appalling thing you're doing to people's human rights. Um, and yet, these are some of the logical pretend points that are getting published here. Um, we hear also that we are second only to Canada in the number of people we settle in our generosity. That's another myth. Well, the truth of that is uh, Australia comes in 32nd out of 71 countries who resettle refugees, slightly behind Kazakhstan, Guinea and Djibouti. Um, you know, we're, this, this myth of our generosity needs to be overthrown. You hear that we've got to do this because these people might be terrorists. Well, in the entire time uh, of the Howard government and the Rudd government, um, there have been a couple of people that they've held for questioning, but no one's been found to have a terrorist background. No one. The, the terrorist background person who came into this country was Willy Burgit, who came via Air France in a first class part of the plane with valid papers and a valid visa. Um, it, it takes a lot of money and resources to train a terrorist. They don't tend to jump into a leaky boat with their pots and pans in <laughs> one hand and their babies in the other. Um, we have to really start debunking these myths and get the facts on the table. Um, the other popular myth that we, we, we've heard is the notion that only Australian government has the right to decide who comes into this country and the circumstances in which they come. And the truth of that is it's, it's far more complicated than that because of the operation of international laws and customs. Now, in international human, humanitarian law, it depends on whether a nation's ratified that convention. As I said, not Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand have not. Um, however, some rights are universal. Uh, by ratif ratifying the Refugee Convention in 1954, Australia gave any person with a well-founded fear the right to request protection in this country, with, regardless of whether they had travel documents or not, regardless of whether they had legal travel documents or not. Um, and in addition, through the UN, the international community recognised what is called custom customary international law, which is based on the international custom rather than on treaties. And what that means is it prohibits all countries from sending asylum seekers back into danger, regardless of whether that country has signed a refugee convention or not. Um, we can't go there again. When we set up Nauru, uh, Australia sent back 50% of the Afghan asylum seekers. If those people had made it onto the mainland, 98% were found to have valid claims. So even according to our own figures, we knew that we were sending people back for the persecution that they had pleaded for. We knew that, the numbers tell us that. And of course, when we do that, and you get that wrong, people die. 